Hello friends, welcome to Technical Learning Programming AK. In this video, I will show Billing Management System project in VB.NET with source code and documentation. You can download the source code and documentation. Link is given in description below. You can download it. So first of all, open this documentation file. So this is the our documentation file. You can read this documentation file one by one all existing systems ER diagrams table designs and all our project structure and project design is available in our documentation so this is the, our project design of our documentation and this is the forms and this is the data so this is the our documentation file this is the, our project design so then i close the documentation file and our project open in visual studio so running this a solution file and open in visual studio so this project is opened in visual studio so open this project file here so this is the our file then the first file is the resources file in the resources file there are multiple images is available in our resources file then the crystal reports file this is the crystal reports file there are four crystal report files in our project then the first form of our project is the customer detail so open this form and explain one by one so this is the our customer details form in this customer details form there are multiple fields in these fields date customer id customer name customer address customer number customer account number and customer remarks and update and cancel and delete button is here and then the next is the data grid is available is available in our customer details form so this is the our customer details update view this is the our customer details form so then the next form is the form one so this is the form one this is the customer form in this customer detail form only add here customer and then the update delete in other form other form means customer details update form this is the customer details update and delete form and this is the customer detail adding form in this form there are multiple fields first field is the date second one is the customer id then customer name customer address customer number customer account number and customer remarks and then the there are three buttons save cancel and clear there are three buttons in this form then the next form is the login form in this login form username and password this is the two fields and then the ok and cancel button is here this is the, our login form design when you run your application then automatically your first screen open the first screen is the login form ok the first screen is the login then the next form is the main page main page of our project this is the main form of our project in this main form using the menu strip here in this menu strip there are multiple options so first option is the customer in the customer option there are four options sub option is here in the sub options update new delete and view is here and the next is the supplier option in this supplier option there are four four sub option is here first one is the name second one is the update third one is the delete and last one is the view then the next is the account in the account section new and create option is here then view option is here then the next is the product in the product option new product and view product there are two options then the next is the production entry in the production entry form new option is here then the next is the purchase in the purchase form new purchase and view option is here then the next is the sales in the sales option new and view option is here then the next is the transaction in the transaction option no option is here no sub option in the stock option there are two sub options ready stock and raw stock in the ready stock in the ready stock new and view option is here and raw stock new and view option is here then the same option in the stock then the last one is the report section in the report section there are three report section sales purchase and talk, stock in the stock section raw stock and ready stock there are two sub report section there this is the our main page of our 
application when you uh, log in here you are uh, you type your username and password and then click on ok the password match then automatically redirect on your main page option this is our main page of our project and you handle all functionalities in our main page open any form here from home page okay so this is our main page of our application then the next is the main node vb this is the main form of our project in the main form of uh, customer button supplier product ready purchase raw sale account and transaction option is here this is the all option available in main section this is the main section of our process then the next form is the product details in this product details date item number item id name unit price is here and then the three credit operation buttons is here. save cancel and clear is here this is our product details option then the next is the product view this is the view product option is here in this view product item id here type your item id and then click on ok then this is the cancel button and this is the data grid view when you search any product here you can automatically handle the all product and all product details in the data grid view okay so this is our project view option and the next is the production entry in the production entry form this is the production entry in the production entry form pro produce item number item name or quantity and this is the data grid view. in this data grid we use a raw product no number of quantity and then the next is a product id product name quantity and price and then the main option is the save option in this uh, production entry there are two group options in the group product item and product new entry this is the two group option and third one is the our data grid view in this data grid view you, your data is a, your product data saves in data grid view so this is our product into production entry form the next form is the purchase ignore and continue okay so this is the purchase form then the next is the purchase details form this is our purchase details form in this purchase details form purchase number challenge number purchase date supplier id supplier name and then this in the sec second group box purchase details in this purchase details item id item name item price item quantity item total price vat additional vat net amount discount gross amount this all option is here in purchase details and the next is the uh, next buttons is the ok cancel and clear there are three buttons in our purchase details option so this is our purchase details form then the next form is the purchase view in the purchase view option purchase number type here your purchase number and then the purchase date and click on ok automatically filter data display in this data grid view and you can cancel this purchase view here okay so this is the purchase view option then the next is the ready stock view this is the ready stock view you you filter ready stock data here item id stock date and ok your uh, stock date data display your data grid view then the next form is the ready stock in this ready stock option date item id item name stock in this there are uh, four fields in stock ready stock option and this is the ok cancel and clear button is here and this is the four buttons in our uh, ready stock form then the next is the ready dot vb ignore and continue yes and then the next form is the raw stock view this is the raw stock view form in this form item id stock date ok option is here and this is the data grid view and cancel button is here then the next is the raw stock in the raw stock 
date item id item name and stop option is here and ok cancel and clear option in this or for stop option this is the raw stock then the next is the raw dot vb sorry save dot vb sales details dot vb this is the sales details form in this sales details form sale number sale date customer id customer name item id item name item price quantity total price vat additional vat net amount discount gross amount and three option is here uh, add clear cancel then the fourth main option is the bill option and net amount is displaying this text box and this is the, our data grid when you adding uh, all the sales number sales date customer id customer name and all sales details here and when you click on add your data is automatically saved in this data grid view and you can at uh, you can click on bill then automatically generate your bill so this is the our main structure of our project and this is the sales detail is the main part of our uh, main module of our project so this is the our sales data is form and the next is the sales view in the sales view uh, sales number sales date and ok option is here when you uh, type your sales number sale date and when you click on ok automatically filter data display in your data grid view and you can cancel it easily ok so then next is the sales report form this is the sales report and the next is the sales report form ignore and continue yes then the sub detail supplier detail form this is our supplier detail form in this supplier detail form date supplier id supplier name supplier address supplier number supplier account number supplier remarks update cancel and delete button is here and this is the data grid view you type all details here and update when you click on update your uh, record automatically update and your record automatically delete when you click on delete option your record automatically delete okay so this is the our supplier details update delete and view form okay then the next form is the supplier details this is the our supplier details form in this supplier details date supplier id supplier name supplier address supplier number supplier account number and supplier remarks and when you click on okay your record is added in our table ok cancel and clear there are three buttons this is our supply details form and then the last one is form is the transaction this is our transaction form in this transaction form transaction id account code date discount bank check number amount dc and sales number and ok and cancel button is here this is our transaction form in this transaction when you add all the fields and then click on ok your data is automatically saving your table okay so this is the, our main project structure and main project design okay so this is the our project you i run this project here okay you can download this source code link is given in description below and you can download the project documentation so this is our project ok so i hope you like this project and like this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel technical and programming ak and then click on bell icon for notification of new videos so thanks for watching this video bye friends thank you so much